Mark Saluk weighs 40 pounds less today than he did three years ago. There was a time where I used to sit in my office all day. And you sit in a chair and you just keep doing your work and you forget that mobility is life, right? And you have to keep mobile. Six months ago, he got an Apple Watch. He uses it to track his steps and his heart rate. He says it's helped him stay committed to his fitness goals. Visualizing it, looking at it, touching it, feeling it, it's different than just thinking about it. Companies like John Hancock, one of the biggest life insurance providers in North America, believe fitness tracking devices are an incentive to leading a healthier life. The company recently announced it will no longer be selling traditional life insurance. It will only be selling so-called interactive policies that track fitness data through wearable devices. Policyholders don't have to share that data, but if they do and if they hit certain fitness targets, they get discounts on their premiums and other perks. You want to live a long time? And they would love you to live a long time. It's a win-win for both. Insurance expert Colin Devine says the programs are all about using big data to improve risk assessment. Those who exercise regularly are more likely to live longer, which means more premiums for the insurance company and lower payouts. There are also benefits for the policyholder. If you are a very healthy person who works out several times a week, um, just as if you're a good driver, you know, why shouldn't you pay less for your insurance? But data experts are concerned about the unintended consequences of sharing biometric data, both in terms of how it is going to be secured and how it is going to be used. We may not even know the different ways that they're intending to use this data uh, as it evolves because they may not know at this time. And, and it's just a Pandora's box, if you will. Toomey says consumers need to make their own assessments on whether the benefits of sharing personal data with companies outweigh the potential long-term risks. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.